Hi, hello everyone. How are you doing? Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Danny. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? Good evening. Good evening, Evelyn. All right. Thank you so much for being on time in your class. It's a pleasure to see you all. I hope you're safe and sound as per usual. So let's get started with the class. Today is Monday, May 08, all right, 8th, 2023. We are officially in class 13. So you're just about to finish, all right? Es oficialmente la clase número 13, así que ya están eh, cerca de terminar. Eh, tenemos clase este día, mañana y el miércoles descansamos. Volvemos a clases jueves y viernes, ¿ok? As an FYI for you. Como información que ustedes tienen que manejar. So let's get started. Today we're going to start with section five. What are you doing? Let's check. First, let's remember, all right? Por favor, recordemos lo que vimos la clase pasada, some of the topics that we saw, algunos temas que vimos. For example, we saw the present continuous yes or no questions, right? We have the questions over here and we have the answers, okay? Teníamos las preguntas y las respuestas. Es importante conocer el present continuous porque de hecho es uno de los tenses más sencillos, es uno de los es uno de los tiempos gramaticales más sencillos de trabajar, porque usualmente y yo he notado que la mayoría de personas habla solo en progresivo, ¿right? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Ah, estoy cocinando. ¿Qué estás comiendo? Estoy comiendo queso, ¿right? So we most of the time we speak in present progressive. So let's check. We have questions and answers. Esto pertenece a la sección pasada, la sección 4, ¿okay? Pero lo vamos a ver como review porque esto lo vimos súper ligero el día viernes. So let me have Mario Molina, please. You are the questions and let me check. Manuel Campos, you are the answers. Action. Are you wearing a suit? Suit. A suit. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. They are. No, they aren't. They, perdón. No, they are not. Exactly. No, they aren't. Very good. Thank you, both of you. Now let's check the guiding structure. Let me listen to Lisette. Please, can you read the guiding structure? Guiding structure. Verb to be plus subject plus verb ing plus complete in ing plus complement plus a exclamation mark. Question mark. Question mark. Sorry. No, don't worry. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Ok, para los que no entraron el viernes, esta fue la estructura principal que tuvimos para el present continuous en cuanto a preguntas, right? <clears throat> Let's check some guiding examples. Let me listen to Let's see. Daniel Rivera, read the guiding example number 1, 2 and 3. Uh, are you calling Pablo? Is Marta eating pizza? Are Julio and Fernando drinking soda? Mm -hmm. That's correct. Thank you. Let's listen to Miguel Angel, please. Number four, number five. Are we wearing uniform? Is David driving home? Excellent. Repeat uniforms. Uniform. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. And then we have the question time. All right. The, sorry, the practice time. Let me listen to Evelyn, please. Can you read the instructions, please? Okay. Practice time instructions. One, work individually. Two, create one question using present continuous. Yes, no question. Perfect, thank you. Entonces, utilizando esta estructura, basándonos en estos ejemplos, si ustedes desean, van a crear one question, 
Una pregunta, ¿ok? But I feel that one question is too easy for you. Una pregunta es muy sencilla para ustedes. So, two questions. All right? Two questions using present continuous. Let's work on that, please. Voy a dejar la guiding structure por aquí para que la copien y trabajemos en eso. Okay, have you finished? Hello, hello. Yes, no, almost teacher. Yes, very good. So let me listen to you, Gen Z, please. <laughs> okay, um, good evening. Um, oh. Is Karen curing her hair? Next. Are we playing basketball or football? All right, very good. Are we playing basketball or football? Very good. Excellent, Jancy. Very good. Another one. Someone else? Alguien más? No one else? Okay, I'll pick and choose. Okay, we have some participants. Qué bueno, tenemos algunos participantes. Let me have Lizeth. Después de Lizeth, Manuel Campos. Luego Evelyn. Y no me bajen las manos. <laughs> let it open, let it raise. Déjela arriba, please. Okay, let's go with, um, decíamos Lizeth. Y luego Manuel Campos. Action, Lizeth. Are you wearing red shoes? Yes, I am. No, I not. Okay. Perfect. Another one? 
eh, solo una hice. Guay, ¿por qué? Si le salió muy bien. Ok, thank you, Lizeth. Okay. Let's go with Manuel, please. Are you working at home? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Is your sister watching a movie? Yes, she is. Very good, excellent, thank you. That's correct. Let's listen to Daniel Rivera, please. Are Kevin streaming in the pool? Mm -hmm. Next. Uh, sorry, repeatala, please. Uh, sorry, is Kevin streaming in the pool? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Is Esther studying for the exam? All right, studying. Studying, okay. Yes, perfect. Yes, very good. That's correct. Good, that one. Uh, what about Evelyn? I saw your hand two minutes ago. Okay. Are they running to the top of the mountain? Yes, they are. Is he work hard in the gym? Yeah, no, he isn't. Work or working? No, is he working hard in the gym? At the gym. At the gym. Sorry. Yes, okay. very Thank good. Si está correcto, Evelyn. Very good. Uh, next one. Vamos a ver quién más. Miguel Ángel, after Miguel, Manuel Hernández. Action, Miguel. Okay. Is Daniel working tonight? Is the computer working? Mm. Sí, están correctas, pero me utilizó el mismo verbo en ambas. Pues... Sí, están correctas, eh. right? Just for you to practice, the purpose it was to use more, right? Pero sí, están sí. correctas. Thank okay. you. Okay. Solo repita, tonight. Tonight. Yes, very good. Let's go with Manuel Hernández, please. Okay. Uh, are you learning English? Yes, I am. Okay, the, net, the second one. Uh, are you studying in English class today? All right. Are you having? Puede ponerle, are you having? Ah, okay. Ajá, porque es como vas a, vas a estar teniendo Javi. una clase, Javi. ¿no? Javi. Javi. Ok. Perfect, Manuel. Uh, Thank you. Let's go with Mario Molina. Ok, ok. Uh, are Patty and Senia. Playing to game. Playing no. a game. Uh, playing, um, playing the game. Um, to... I'm playing the game. All right. Si usted okay. tiene el juego específicamente, entonces sí podemos utilizar the game. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, they, yes, they are. Um, no, they aren't. Okay, perfect. Uh, is Patricia working today? No. No, uh, no, isn't. Uh, no, she isn't. Uh, no, no, she isn't. Uh, yes she is okay perfect thank you mario those are correct let me check who else am i missing Quien más me hace falta? Veamos. okay no one congratulations y'all los felicito okay so let's move on now last class we were watching the conjunctions right la clase pasada veíamos las conjunctions, aprendíamos que hay, hay bastantes conjunctions, all right? pero en la plataforma no les abarcan muchas, porque en realidad es un tema como intermediate advanced, right? un tema intermedio avanzado. 
cuando usted ya conoce gramática, cuando usted ya habla un poco, cuando usted ya sabe escribir más que oraciones, Entonces, ahí usted ya puede empezar a utilizar las conjunctions, más conjunctions, right? Tenemos las fanboys, tenemos coordinating conjunctions, we have a lot of them. Pero ahorita solo tenemos and and but, right? ¿Qué sería and? Sería y, y but, pero. Okay? Miss, can I only use them in simple present? No, you can use them in simple present, present perf uh, perfect, present perfect, Uh, future simple, past simple, and present progressive, which is the one that you are studying right now. Presente progresivo es el que estamos estudiando ahorita, pero ustedes lo pueden utilizar en diversos tiempos gramaticales, right? So, I might say, tengo unos ejemplos por aquí, all right? Let me listen to, uh, let me see. Um... Miguel, can you please read number one? Only number one, please. Okay. I drinking soda and I eating pizza, but I not watching TV. Right, excellent, very good. Now you might notice everyone, gracias Miguel. Pueden notar que en realidad utilicé las dos conjunctions ahí. Pero ¿qué sucede? If I'm going to use the conjunction but, si voy a utilizar la... la el conector o la conjunción but, tengo que utilizar coma before but. Right? Esto no es solo utilizarlo a lo loco, right? por eso solo les han puesto dos, porque tienen que aprenderse las reglas de esto. Si yo voy a utilizar but, voy a utilizar coma before but. Luego tenemos number two. Eh, Mario Molina, can you please read number two? Arnold. Arnold is listen to music. But he is not studying. Exactly. Thank you, right? Está haciendo una acción más, Arnold, pero hay otra que no la está cumpliendo. Y ahí utiliza but. No es necesario que ustedes utilicen el and y el but siempre juntos. Por ejemplo, en la número uno, I did. Lo hice, lo utilicé juntos. But in the second one, it wasn't necessarily. En la segunda, no lo vi necesario. So I didn't use them both. I just use but. And then we have the last one, Daniel Rivera, please, number three. They are working, but they don't like their jobs. Exactly, very good. Facilmente yo puedo haber dicho, they are working and they like their jobs. All right? Pero también la puedo hacer en negative. They are working, but they don't like their jobs. Simple as that. So let's check. Let's work on instructions. Jensi, can you please help me with instructions? Practice of time. Instruction. Number one, work individually. Two, create one synthesis in which you use progressive tense, but at the same time, you are using conjunction. Excellent, thank you. One sentence, no. Ya ustedes ya no son tan beginners, así que vamos a poner two sentences. All right. Thank you, Jensi. Remember, present progressive, presente progresivo, que es el tema que hemos visto, y conjunciones, all right, o también conocido como conectores, conjunctions. Let's work on it. Remember that you can use the vocabulary that you learned last class. For example, clothes, colors, leisure activities, all right? Pueden utilizar parte del vocabulario que han aprendido. Por ejemplo, Maria is wearing a skirt, but she is not wearing sandals, all right? Or Maria is wearing a skirt and sandals.
Okay, so I think you might have finished. Let's get started. Let's start with Evelyn Flores. Read your sentences, please. Okay. Um, he is dancing with his daughter, but he needs drinking water. But he? He needs drinking water. He needs drinking water. Needs. Ajá, por eso, he needs. Recuerde que si es tercera persona, utilizamos S al final del verbo. Oh, yes. He needs drinking water. He needs to drink, sería Evelyn. He needs to drink, pero necesita beber agua. He needs to drink. Ok, sí podemos okay. hacer la mezcla ahí. Let's check. Uh, he is dancing with her daughter. Daughter. Come up, but he needs to drink water. To drink. Sí, así sería, all right. Ok. Yes. Está bailando con su hija, pero necesita beber agua. Yes. Very good. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. ¿Y la otra, Evelyn? Okay. Um, she is going to the work, but she wants to be drink to the bus. Running to the bus. Ah, she must need, she must run to the bus. <laughs> and she's going to run, she's running to the bus stop. She's running to the bus stop. No le tiene que poner el must. All right, solo póngale, eh, repita la primera oración de esa misma, please. Okay. She's going to work. Uh -huh. Vaya, entonces ahí. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Justo ahí lo que usted dijo, she's running uh -huh. to work, to work, perdón. To work. Uh -huh. Dijo she's running to work or she's going to work. No, she's going to work, but she must to run to bus stop. No, hay mucho, mucha palabra, mucha palabra y estamos enredando. Okay. She's going to work, coma, but... Uh -huh. She's running. She's going to work, but she's running. There we can't. There we have to use and. Okay. Because to go to work, she's running to get the bus. Yes, correct. She's running. She's running to work and she's running. Vaya, ahí le puede agregar usted to take the bus. O to catch the box. I, to catch the bus, perdón. Ahí usted decide cuál verbo quiere utilizar. Take or catch. Ambos son bienvenidos okay. cuando estamos hablando de abordar un bus. Ok. Thank you. Welcome. Excellent. Ok, now let's listen to Daniel, please. Um, is Daniel swimming? Perdón. Is Daniel swimming in the pool? Yes, but he don't like it. No, he doesn't like it. Okay. Recuerda, uh, tercera persona, he doesn't. Ah, ok. Uh, and, um, I am studying for the exam, for but the exam. I don't use her than anything. <laughs> I don't understand anything. Yeah, it happens to me when I was at the university. <laughs> All right, let's check. Uh, Danny, repítame la uno primero, please. Ok. Is Danny swimming in the pool? Yes, but he doesn't like. Vaya, pero entonces ahí me la hizo pregunta respuesta. Porque dice is comenzó con el verb to be is Danny dancing on, swimming, perdón, is Danny swimming on the pool? All right, entonces tiene que ser así. Danny comienzo con mi sujeto is swimming. The pool, bueno, in the pool, porque está dentro. Yeah. All right. Um, ¿Qué más quiso agregar? Uh, but he doesn't yeah. like it, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. But he, recuerde que para la tercera persona, he, 
she or it, tiene que ser doesn't. doesn't. Like it. Uh -huh. Very good. Excellent. Ahí sí está correcta. La segunda también la tiene correcta, Dani. Right? Esta solo tenemos que agregarle la mezcla del tiempo gramatical, que comenzamos con progresivo y terminamos con presente. Now, let's check another one. Thank you, Donny. Those were correct. Gracias. Están correctas. All right. Another one. De hecho, ahorita es el momento preciso donde me tienen que, de, a, por medio de estas oraciones, yo veo si hemos comprendido completamente or not. Me. We listen to, who said me? ¿Quién dijo me? William. All right. Después yes. de William, Manuel Campos. Action, William. Okay. Um... Maria is writing a book, but she's not a natural writer. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sarah is painting a picture, but she's not a very, very artistic. Yeah, she's not very artistic. Very good. Excelente, William. Vaya, ahí tienen otro ejemplo. William también utilizó. Inició con progresivo y luego le agregó el presente, pero el presente del verb to be. Right? En el caso de, de Christian y de Evelyn, ellas estaban agregando el presente del simple present. Right? Y también William aquí agregó simple present, pero del verb to be. Very good. Eso es bueno, right? Que sepan manejar los tiempos mezclados también está correcto. Mientras sepan utilizar el tiempo primordial, que es el que están estudiando, that's correct. No problem whatsoever. Now, let's listen to Manuel, please. I'm buying a cell phone, but not a computer. Yes. She's working, but she's tired. Hey, very good. She's working, but she's tired. Excellent. Thank you, Manuel. Let's listen to... Another one? Alguien más? Excellent, Mr. Hernandez. Action. Okay. Uh, I am learning English, but I'm more, I need more practice. Mm -hmm. Very good. Ariel and me working together, but we don't like it. <laughs> but we don't like it. Okay, very good. That was so sincere. Excellent. Thank you. Somebody else? Someone else, someone else. Okay, should I pick and choose then? Let's go. Let me listen to Miguel Angel, please. Okay. Uh, I've been exhausted for an hour, hour but I'm exhausted. All right, I'm excited for my work. Oh, for being at work? Eh, is is for an hour, the hour. For an hour? For an hour. Mm -hmm. oh, no. Repítala de nuevo, pero ahora con la pronunciación correcta. Hour. Okay. I be exerced for, na for an hour. But I'm exhausted. <coughs> but exercising. I'm... Exercising. Yes, that's correct. Le escuché excited. Exhausted. Right. Ex, 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 excited. Usted está diciendo, vaya, usted me está diciendo que ha estado haciendo ejercicio por una hora. Correcto. ¿Verdad? Y por eso está cansado. Exhausted. Así es. Exhausted. Entonces, sí. I've been exercising, como dijo usted, I've been exercising <coughs> for an hour. Now I'm exhausted. That's correct. Thank you, Miguel. Veo que está mal de salud. So, don't worry. I hope you get better. Espero que se sienta mejor después, Miguel. Cuando ya esté dormido. Ok. Ok. Thank you. ¿Tiene otra, Miguel? O that was it. Ok, sí estaba formulando otra, pero... No encuentro la palabra correcta. ¿Qué estamos haciendo ahorita, Miguel, nosotros dos? Ah, 
Perdón. We are talking. Okay. We are talking, all right? So, puede decir algo como, the teacher and I are talking, but we are not writing. Okay. The teacher and I were talking, but we're not writing. Right? Something like that. De las acciones que están haciendo en el momento, si yo quiero que ustedes hagan sus ejemplos, all right? ¿Qué está haciendo? Está tosiendo. I'm coughing because I have the flu. Estoy tosiendo porque tengo eh, gripe. All right? Okay. I'm listening to the English class and watching the computer. O sea, piensa en esas actions, Miguel. All right? Y después me, la da, la, me da la sentence si quiere. Okay. Perfect. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con Lizeth Rodríguez. Okay. I am watching TV, but I am using the cell phone. Yeah. They are playing soccer, but they are already tired. Uh -huh. Soccer. Soccer. Yes, soccer. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. That's correctly said. All right. Yes. No es necesario que nos compliquemos tanto para hacer esas sentences. Son acciones que ustedes están realizando en el momento. I'm, I'm drinking water and I'm teaching at the same time. Estoy tomando agua y al mismo tiempo estoy dando mi clase. All right. I'm watching the computer. I'm texting. I'm touching the mouse. All right. I'm touching my cell phone. I'm messaging to someone. Me estoy mensajeando con alguien, ¿alright? Todas las actions, de, apuesto que ahorita está haciendo muchas actions. Eh, supongamos que estamos con un tic nervioso de la pierna y está moviendo la pierna. I'm moving my leg too hard, ¿alright? Estoy moviendo mi pierna muy duro, ¿alright? I'm moving my leg too hard because I'm nervous. ¿Por qué estoy nervioso? Okay? You are doing a lot of actions, ¿alright? So let's check. Jensi, let me listen to your sentences. Well, um, well, today is Saturday. Um, my daughter is working in your work, um, but I don't like it. she work on Saturday. Okay, next. I listen in the class angle. The English class. The English, the English class, sorry. But I understand the purpose. <laughs> yeah. It's example, it's example. Yes, yes, don't worry, I got you, I got you. Sí, también les iba a decir otra como, I'm listening to the English class, but I'm not taking notes. No estoy tomando nota. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Mr. Bayet. I really appreciate your examples. What about Salvador? I don't know if this Salvador is the, the one that we usually have. Okay, hi. Um, number one, um, I'm I am eating pizza, but I don't, but I'm not talking with my mom. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Because... <laughs> second one, they are walking on the they are walking on the street, but they don't drinking water. But they are not. Okay. They are not, they are drinking, not water. drinking water. Okay. Very good. Está correcto. Excelente. All right. And let's go with the next one. Vamos a ver. Ya pasó Manuel Campos, Manuel Hernández. William, <coughs> Mario Molina, did you pass already? Ya pasó. Hello, uh... man. No. <laughs> so pass. Action. Okay. okay. Uh, my daughter uh, drawing. My daughter drawing a, a picture, but mm -hmm. she's she's not artist. She's not an artist. Uh, an artist. Good, good. Vaya, solo que al principio me dijo my daughter drawing. Y ahí necesita el verb to be. All right. Oh, 
O sea, ¿qué es la acción que ella está realizando? My daughter is strong. Yes, exactly. That's correct. Very good. But, but she's not uh, artist. No, an artist. No. Yes. Do you have another one? Tiene otra? Uh, I'm drinking powder water, mm -hmm. but I'm not a table. But I'm not. Pero no soy. No. Um, I, I am. I'm not a glass. But not in a glass. Pero no en un vaso. Right. Okay. Me quiere decir. Sí. Estoy tomando sí. agua de una botella, pero no de okay. un vaso. Okay. Sí. No. Pero, but no. I don't know to say. Me. This. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, sometimes we say things that are confused even in Spanish. A veces decimos cosas que son confusas hasta en español, so don't worry. En realidad, si puede decir, I'm drinking, I'm drinking water from a bottle, right? Se lo voy a poner aquí. Daniel, voy a poner salsa aquí. You may check. Permítame. Sigo compartiendo, sí, todavía. Sí, sí. Entonces sería, uh, I'm drinking water from my bottle. Mm -hmm. Water no lleva tilde, no sé por qué mi computadora tiró eso. From a bottle, all right? Uh, but I'm not drinking from a glass. Como estoy tomando agua de una botella, pero no estoy tomando de un vaso, right? Okay. Is that what you wanted to say, right? Si eso era lo que quería transmitir. Yes. Si no, me puede decir su idea en español y yo le, le ayudo a hacerla. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Molin. All right, everyone. This is the purpose, all right? For you to practice. Este es el propósito que ustedes practiquen. Van a haber cosas que siempre nos van a confundir, pero no se dejen eh, ganar la lucha, por así decirlo, del esfuerzo que están haciendo, solo porque una oración nos costó, porque se me olvidó poner algo, don't, right? no lo hagan. En realidad, cuando nosotros hablamos de las cosas que aprendemos, es más fácil que se nos queden, o cuando practicamos. That's why we're always practicing in here. Por eso es que siempre estamos practicando aquí. So let me just, I'm going to take the attendance list. Voy a tomar la lista de asistencia. Okay, so whenever you listen to your name, say present. Today is Monday 8th. Let's check. Beatriz Adriana. Ooh. Carlos Salvador. Present. Evelyn Mercedes Flores. Present. Sebastián Franco. Present. Jacqueline Beatriz Melendez. I don't even know who she is. Jose David Rosales. Eh, Jose Mario Molina. <coughs> I am here. Eh, Karen Lisset Osorio Martinez. Kevin Alexander Batres Deras. Kevin Antonio Chicas. Kevin Ernesto García. Uy, perdón, me salté uno. Kevin Daniel Rivera Calderón. Present. Perfect, thank you. Kevin Ernesto García. Luis Alfonso Rivas, he's not anymore. Manuel Antonio Hernández. Present. Manuel de Jesús Campos. Present. Miguel Ángel Galán. Present. Ok, let me check. Ma Mar Marlene Elisset Rodríguez Aguilar. Present. Sandra Beatriz Ábalos. William Alexander Castro. Present. And Jancy Valle. No present. Thank you. All right, everyone, let's continue with the platform. Vamos a ver, we're going to see a video, okay? So let's pay attention to the names, 
of the cities and the time zones around the world. Here we go. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, London, Casablanca, Cape Town, <laughs> Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello? Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice the conversation. Okay, let's move on to the PowerPoint because we have all the information in there. Let me just move a bit over here. And let's see if we can. Well, we still have the names over here. Tenemos las cities aquí de un lado, okay? So that's what matters. We have Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, Cape Town. Let me listen to, let's just start with Manuel Hernandez, please, from number one to number 10. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, Cape Town. Right, excellent. Uh, with this one, we don't need to practice that much because we only have like three names that are written in English, right? En realidad, todos los demás, Están como mix up. Solo los únicos que podrían ser difíciles serían Vancouver, uh, New York City, Montreal, and Brasilia, and Cape Town. The rest, it's pretty much in Spanish also. So let's move on to the next one. Now in here, we have different ones. We have Casablanca. We have London, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh. All right, aquí como solo tenemos full consonants, all right, solo consonantes, entonces les puse aquí el sonido, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Let me listen to Salvador Medrano, please, action. Casablanca, London, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, and Sydney. Thank you, sir. Let's go with Daniel Rivera, please. Your microphone down. Okay, maybe we don't have that. <laughs> Let's check. Let's go with another one. Let me have Evelyn Flores, please. <clears throat> Casablanca, London, Guarza, Moscow, um, Real, Real, Seoul. Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Excellent, thank you. Let's listen to Gen C. Valle, please. Okay. Casablanca, London, Warsaw, 
Moscow, Real, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Excellent, thank you, All right? And let's go with the next one, which is the last one. Uh, William Castro, please. Casablanca, London, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Excellent, thank you, All right? Now let's practice the conversation. We have Debbie and John. <clears throat> Hello. No, no. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes. Four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. I ahí tiene puntos suspensivos. Entonces sería I'm awake now. All right. So let's listen to you guys. Let's check and let's go with Manuel Campos. You are. You are John. Lizeth Rodriguez, you are Debbie. Action. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm a not comfort in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock. There in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I am awake now. Excellent. Thank you, both of you, for your effort. Very good. Now, let's listen to <coughs> Chang. Who are we going to listen to? Let's listen, Kevin Alexander, you are Debbie. William Castro, you are John, action. Hello. Hi, Debbie, this is John. I am calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right, what time is there? It's 10 p.m. And it's four o'clock. There is in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. Dance, okay. I am awake now. Excellent. Thank you, both of you. That was great. Fluency on point. Let me listen to the next one. Uh, Miguel Galan, you are Debbie. Salvador, Salvador, sorry, Salvador Medrano, you are John. Action. Hello. Hi, David. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it? Is it? It's 10 p.m. And it's for a club there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, for a club in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I wait now. Very good. Excellent. Both of you, that was great. Thanks. And let's go with the next pair. Um, Evelyn Flores, you are Debbie. Jen Sivanya, you are John. Action. <laughs> Hello. Let's give him time. Demosle tiempo. Tal vez tiene problemas con el microphone, Jensi. <laughs> Sorry, I'm mute. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Okay. One more time. Okay, Debbie. Start. Okay. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I call him from Australia. Australia? I had conference in Sydney, remember? All right. 
What time is it here? Is there? It's 10 p.m. And it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m.? Oh, I'm real sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Very good, excellent, thank you. I might say pronunciation has quite improved and that's excellent, all right? That's something that we always want to keep on doing. Let me see, do we have Danielle in the classroom? Are you there, Danny? No? Yes? Hi. <laughs> Hi, there you are, okay. You are Debbie, Mario Molina, you are John, action. Um, hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I call him from Australia. Australia? I, I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is here? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I am really sorry. That's okay. I am waking now. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, both of you. Keep on the good job, all right? I know it's not easy trying to imitate or trying to role play someone else, but you have done it greatly. Now, let's move on to the following, my dear students. We have the different time zones, okay? For example, let me take out my magic wand. Voy a sacar mi varita, mi spotlight. Okay. So we have, it's one o'clock. It's one oh five. It's five after one. O sea, una misma hora eh, puede cambiar, all right? For example, it's one o'clock, la una en punto. It's one oh five. La una y cinco. It's, it's five after one. Cinco minutos después de la, cinco, de la una. Right? It's one fifteen. Una y quince. It's a quarter after one. Es un cuarto después de la una. It's one thirty. Una y treinta. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. La una y cuarenta o veinte a las dos. It's one forty five. It's a quarter to two, okay? Let me have some of you to practice this vocabulary. Let's just start with a uh, Miguel, no, Miguel, you are sick, mejor no, esto está enfermo. Let me have William Castro, please. It's one o'clock. It's one oh five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. Perfect, excellent, thank you. Now my dear students, we're going to stop the class in here so that you can go and work on the platform, all right? Recuerden la sección cinco. Tiene que estar finalizada para antes del día viernes, okay? Si fuera posible. All right, my dear students, that's pretty much it for today's class. Thank you so much for coming, and I see you tomorrow. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.